Hey, what's up? This is Chris on the longest way. Trying to walk back from uh, China, which is over there, to my home in Germany, which is somewhere over there. And today is uh, August the 23rd, 2018. Wait, where's the sun? There is the sun. And uh, we just woke up here in Azerbaijan in some pretty empty place, the caboose and I. And uh, yeah, it was a good night. Very warm at first and then pretty cold, but overall good. No jackals, no snakes, no, uh, I don't know, disturbance. So yeah, it was good. And uh, yeah, today is going to be a short day, I think. Well, no, there's two options. Either go to a hotel that is about 11, 12 kilometers from here. And uh, yeah, that's going to be about like two or three hours of walking. Or keep going and then there's no hotel. So yeah, I don't know. I haven't decided. There's some mud volcanoes on the map. I don't know what a mud volcano is. I figure it's uh, probably a relative of uh, Donald Trump. But uh, yeah, we might check those out as well. I don't know. We'll see. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Looks like I made a decision. I walked through Alat and I went to a shop and I bought some water. And then I looked at the map and I thought mud volcano. Mud volcano. Mud volcano. And then I went to another shop and I bought more water and then I went to yet another shop and I got a can of corn. I also got a loaf of bread and some tomatoes and some apricots. And now I'm going to try to go into these mountains here and find the mud volcano. Some dude stopped his car and he said, why don't you leave uh, your hand cart down here? And I'll take you up there because the climb is terrible. But no, the caboose and I, we will not be separated. Right, Boosy? <laughs> you ready? And she's so heavy, <laughs> especially with all the water I bought. Anyway, talk to you later up there somewhere. Can't say I didn't try. I got about halfway there and then I got stuck. I couldn't go up and I couldn't go down either. So, <laughs> so I panicked, but you know, that's not going to help. So in the end, I just sat there holding the caboose, hoping I wouldn't slip. And then a car appeared with uh, two dudes in it and I screamed at them to help me just get out of the situation. And so they did. And together we moved the caboose down here. And they told me to just leave her here. They said, nothing's gonna happen. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. If she doesn't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, what can you do? I don't wanna see her destroyed. Are they gonna drive up there with these cars? Damn. Seriously? I've seen cars fail. Ah, oh, he's doing it. That's pretty awesome. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn, I saw a little car like a station wagon just fail and fail and fail right there. And he takes his, ah, oh, the other, the next one is waiting. That's the good Benz truck and a good driver. I think what you need is conviction, skill and conviction. Hello, old people. <laughs> You just got to keep going and going and going. Oh, man. Oh. 
god. Oh no. Go dude. Go dude. Go dude. Go dude. Oh man. And it's a stick shift too. That sucks so hard. <laughs> I don't want to be that driver. Oh man. He's looking for a better place to start. He's not going to go all the way down, is he? He didn't have the conviction. Is he going to go all the way down? <laughs> Good thing is I can wave at the old people again. <laughs> old people hanging on to the seats. <laughs> Alright dude, now with some conviction. Oh and there there they go. Oh man. Oh shit. Go dude! Go, 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 don't, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, go! Oh, man! Yeah, that's nothing, that's nothing for us, Caboose. <laughs> that's not for us. Let, you, you're gonna stay down here, hold the fort, let nobody come and be mean to you, okay? Okay, Boosie, if somebody comes, you just lash out at them. So apparently, we found the place where Donald Trump is from. <laughs> Somewhere in Azerbaijan. And I think this is where he crawled out of. It's, oh, it's where he gets the stuff to throw on people. <laughs> it's awesome, I like it. It's good. Did you touch it? Did anyone, did you touch Jim, it? Somebody back there. Jim. Is it nice? Cold. Oh, it's cold? Yeah, touch it. I'm, I'm afraid I don't have any water. How am I going to get clean again? Cleanliness is such a big issue in the Trump family. It's cold. It's interesting. Yeah, you can just wipe it off on a rock. Okay. But you didn't do it. Oh, you did. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it is cold. How is it cold? Should be warm. It's methane she, she gas. She said the methane gas comes up and pushes the mud up. So it's basically farts? Yeah, basically. Yes. So it's even more suitable for Donald it's Trump's it's origins. It's like, you know, no smelly farts. It's unsmelly farts. That's the best farts. It is. <laughs> and there's a big one over there or something? What are you going to do now? Yeah, there's like all these tourists and all these holes in the ground and some cars and well <laughs> I missed the caboose I didn't dare to spend a lot of time up there at the uh, mud volcanoes because I was worried about the caboose. But when I came back down, she was just waiting and everything was good. So I guess I could have stayed longer up there, but it just didn't feel right. Could have taken some time lapses, I guess. But then how do you take a time lapse of something that is just farting <laughs> in random intervals? And uh, now, yeah, I've got like 10 kilometers through the mountains here, or like, I don't know, it's just sort of like a sloped side of a mountain. And I'm very happy because I'm not walking on a highway here. 
and I think we're gonna camp tonight. I got enough water. I got some canned corn, some tomatoes, some bread. And the weather looks good. And down there you can see, I hope you can see, the Caspian Sea in blue. And if you look very, very, very carefully, maybe you can see these uh, these high buildings in the back on the other side of the bay and I'm just wondering if that's Baku actually I don't know could be anything really but maybe that thing over there is our first glance at Baku I think I might have made a mistake. Not a big one, but a mistake nonetheless. I was gonna camp out tonight and I had everything prepared. And there were a few good spots before this town what was done. But then some taxi driver told me to keep going. There would be a museum and I would just, I would find a good place to camp there. So I don't know, for some reason I kept going. And then I went into town, and then people, uh, people told me, well, the museum is in the mountains, and there, there is no place there, and blah, blah. So I kept going, and then somebody told me, well, once you're back on the highway, there's going to be this uh, gas station, and you can probably pitch a tent behind the gas station, so that's going to be safe and everything. So I said, okay. And I hadn't reached the gas station yet, when I saw these dudes outside this repair shop and I asked them for the gas station like where it was and whatever and they said well why don't you just come in and sleep here and I was like sure I don't know why but I was really tired so now I got this and it smells like well like big machines and uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but the highway is just outside. And just now a dude came in and he's like, hey man, why don't you give me a little money? And I'm like, oh right, sure, how much you need? And he's like, how about four manat, which is like two euros. So I'm like, okay, but I don't have four manat. I have 10, so I'm like, dude, I'll give you the tenner and you give me five back. And he honestly tells me, he doesn't have any money, so like the only way to do this is to just give him 10. Which, I mean, sure. I don't mind, man. It's like five euros. But like, <laughs> the way you do this, that's just fucked up. So yeah, I'm gonna put my stuff there in a the corner. Uh, It wasn't a bad day though, and if you haven't liked the video, check out the blog, it's thelongestway.com, or share the video, share it with anybody who likes, um, who wants to know the origin story of Donald Trump, his uh, breeding pool, where he came crawling out of in 19, what, 1948 or something? That motherfucker is old. Yeah. That was a good day. I enjoyed the uh, mud volcanoes. I enjoyed walking through the mountains. I enjoyed talking to a bunch of tourists. I don't enjoy this, but there's not even a toilet. He's like, 
why don't you just pee outside? Like, right next to the door. <laughs> sure. I mean, yeah, whatever. <laughs>